Do what? I'll follow you. I don't know where the fuck we're at. All right, uh, 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 Denny's, right there, I see it. This building is made out of chrome. It looks like a fucking 1970s Denny's. It looks like a Jixer stretch swing arm. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back because I'm brown. I feel like that's why my channel is doing so well is because that because I, I get to experience a lot of cool things. People laughing at the camera every day. I ever tell you why I bought a bike, YouTube. Originally I bought a motorcycle because I like I was really scared of motorcycles and that's how I kind of conquered my fear. I lost a really good friend on a motorcycle before I ever owned motorcycles and I was deathly afraid of them. And then I bought one. I bought one to fix up and that's that's kind of like uh, why I've owned motorcycles because I was scared of them. And that's how I get over things, is that I just do whatever makes me scared and I can usually surpass that fear. I'm not saying that's a good way to do it, but that's how I do it. See, everyone likes motorcycles as long as you're not a cop. And take that very lightly, I ride with a lot of cops on my bike. You know, we, we, a, a lot of cops do really cool things for the biking community, believe it or not. Like, the cops do the Toys for Tots run around here. Cops around here to give bikers a good name. And I hate, I know a lot of bikers are like, you know what, fuck the police, fuck the police. And even my intro song has fuck the police, come straight from the underground, got it back because I'm brown. You know, a lot, of, a lot of bikers don't like cops because they always feel like cops are targeting bikers because they feel like co bikers have a bad image. And it's, it's really, like I said, it's a handful of both communities that ruin it for everyone. And I'm probably not helping the case by rolling around doing wheelies, but I'm a very nice guy, you know? If someone gets offended by some of the things I do, I apologize. I've, I've been... I've been talked to a couple times in parking lots, and out of respect, I don't show that footage. You know, and if, if someone wants to buck up on me, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 180 pounds with uh, less than 10% body fat. I'm a decent sized guy. So no one's ever gotten to the point where they want to throw punches at me. But if they do, you know, I would probably upload that footage whether or not I got my ass kicked. But like I said, it's a handful of, of people that ruin it for everybody. It's a handful of bikers that ruin um, the image of bikery. Bikery, is that a word? It's a handful of people that ruin it for the cop community. For instance, I'm gonna talk about this ticket I got on my way home from Atlanta. I'm gonna try to fight it, because um, the speedometer was off in the car. I, didn't I, I knew that, but I had no idea how much it was off, and apparently it was uh, 10 miles off. Because I thought I was uh, doing the legal speed, and I wasn't. But this cop, it's Highway State Patrol. And if you get pulled over by State Patrol, Highway State Patrol, here's one thing you're gonna learn. You're gonna get a ticket. And that's because they have a quota to make. GSP or, you know, whatever state you're in, whatever State Patrol pulls you over, you're gonna get a ticket because they have a quota to make. They'll knock it down for you, but they have to give tickets by their commanding officer, orders them to give them tickets. And they're immune to anything, really. Um, especially GSP. GSP is immune to lawsuits, believe it or not. They cannot be sued because they, they're immune to it. That's part of the contract that they sign on when they get sworn into the force. I've been told this numerous times by GSP. So there's no point in arguing or fighting GSP because they will give you a ticket. However, you can contact whatever county you're in when you get pulled over and ask them if they can remove the ticket. And that's what I'm going to kind of do because I, I don't feel like I was, I should have been pulled over, but I did. So I'm going to try to fight it and I'll let you guys know how that goes. It's, it's, I got pulled over for doing, he, he said I was doing 15 over and a 70 and he knocked it down to 14 so I didn't get a super speeder, which is really nice of him. And that's what GSP is good for. If, if it's a good GSP, he'll knock it down to enough to where he doesn't have to arrest you because they've got a quarter to make. So it's easier for them, it's easier for them to knock down a ticket and give you a ticket than it is for them to arrest you or not give you a ticket at all. Just know that if you get pulled over by state patrol, you're getting a ticket. There's usually no way to talk yourself out of a state patrol ticket. That's just one thing that I've learned. He was nice. I got a little upset because I, I felt like I should have gotten a warning. I don't have any tickets on my record because I fought them all. Now, if you run into like, you know, county, usually county police officers will let you go with a warning because they don't have a quota to make and they're, they're just trying to keep the peace in their county and that's how it works. And then city cops are usually the other way around. They're usually um, kind of jerks. City cops are usually kind of jerks and they'll most likely let you off with a warning or give you a small fine they bump down whatever offense you get. Unless it's a female cop, and most female cops will write you a ticket because um, from what I've been told from all the officers in my county is that it's almost like they have something to prove because they're a woman in the cop community. There's a lot of guys, obviously. It's majority male figures, the cop community. So it's almost like women cops have something to prove. Why I bought a crotch rocket over my, um, why I sold my Magna, because I love my Magna. My, my Magna motorcycle, 
was probably by far my favorite motorcycle just because of the personality that it had and you've seen pictures of it but I'll, I'll upload a couple more right here in the whatever I love that motorcycle that motorcycle was awesome and I sold it because of uh, I actually lost my job and I needed the money I saw I sold it for I think 23 plus a shotgun I sold the shotgun for four ended up getting all together 27th and for it which is which is a good profit you know I I didn't spend nearly that much amount of money on it and the reason I bought a crotch rocket is for two things um, one because I wanted to motive vlog and Crotch rockets are much quieter than my Magna was. My Magna was straight piped, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to muffle it. I didn't want to put baffles in it. It was loud, and that's how I liked it. I bought a crotch rocket for motor vlogging, and I bought a crotch rocket so I could do wheelies. That's the, that's really the main reason why I bought a crotch rocket is so I could do wheelies. And I know that sounds really weird. Most people buy crotch rockets to go really fast or um, to show off because they look pretty. You know, they're very pretty looking bikes. I just got a bike so I could do wheelies because I think wheelies are fun. So that's why I bought a crotch rocket, really. Yeah, that's a little step down from that, but I'm working on it. Uh, what is it? Uh, Vazi 250. Oh, cool, man. You should turn it into a supermoto, ride it on the roads. I hate them things. The supermotos? Yeah. Why, man? They're so cool. The only ones I like are the ones that uh, Yamaha made four or five years 